The Aircraft Communication Addressing and Reporting System, or ACARS, provides an automatic means to transmit and receive operational, maintenance, and administrative information. ACARS uses the VHF communication system to transmit and receive voice and digital data by the more traditional line-of-sight method. The Satellite Communication System, or SATCOM, is used to transmit and receive voice and digital data when distance, atmospheric, or operational needs dictate. VHF and SATCOM voice communications were discussed previously. Now let's look at the Data Link System. The data communication system sends and receives data link messages and may be accessed through any multifunction display. The flight crew can access received messages, initiate downlink messages from prepared formats, review previously received or initiated messages, and access system status and control features. The communications switch on the display select panel displays the communications main menu. Push the communications switch. Active menu items display as white text on a gray background. Inhibited menu items are distinguished by cyan text on a black background. New messages is inhibited only while there are no new messages. Flight information is provided for future data link operations with weather service providers. The CCDs permit interaction with the communications display. Move the hand to highlight the manager menu. Touch the highlighted area. 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 Select the Manager menu. Touch the highlighted area. The cursor defaults to the first item on the menu and the selection is highlighted with a white box. Select the ACARS manager. The ACARS system is tuned to the frequency indicated by the green frequency selector. Only one frequency can be selected at a time. A secondary frequency may be entered into this box. The left and right CDUs are used to enter data on the communications pages. Entries must be keyed into the respective scratch pad. Enter 134.75 into the scratch pad. Use the cursor select switch to load the secondary frequency. Touch the highlighted area. Select the secondary frequency. The secondary frequency is now the active ACARS frequency and has a default scan rate of 2 seconds. Select page 2 of the ACARS manager. ACARS can be set to continuously operate in SATCOM mode VHF mode, or to automatically select between the two modes. ACARS related messages display here. The most recent message displays at the top of the message display area. Here are some examples of ACARS messages. Notice that the time of occurrence is displayed with each message. Exit returns the display to the manager menu. Display the manager menu. 
display the VHF manager. The center VHF is normally used by A cars and is set as the default radio during power up. The center VHF may be set to voice mode by highlighting and selecting voice. The frequency transfer switch also changes the radio to the voice mode if a voice frequency is entered in the standby frequency window. Push the frequency transfer switch. No VHF link displays to alert the crew that a VHF data link no longer exists. Push the frequency transfer switch. VHF link established displays when the link is restored. Return to the manager menu. Now, display the automatic dependent surveillance or ADS manager. Normally, the airplane powers up with ADS armed. ADS activates automatically and transmits position information to ATC in ADS areas of operation. ATC uses this data to track the airplane in non-radar environments. Now exit the ADS manager. Display the company menu. Company downlink messages are configurable by each airline. Here are some examples that may be selected from the company menu. The present route is from New York to San Francisco, but a diversion to Las Vegas is required due to deteriorating weather at San Francisco. Display the diversion report. Now, note the entry formats as the report is filled in. You'll have a chance to practice this later. Once all required items in the report are completed, send displays. Select send. After a few seconds, the display automatically returns to the communications main menu. The COM message alerts the crew that a communications uplink has been received. Notice the inhibit is now removed from new messages. Select new messages. Accept and reject. Remove the COM message and send either an accept or a reject message to the message originator. The glare shield accept and reject switches may also be used. Print displays to allow the crew to send the message to the flight deck printer. The uplinked message acknowledges receipt of the previously sent diversion report. Accept the uplink message. Accepted displays indicating that the acceptance response is complete. After a few seconds, the information box is removed and print and cancel display. Either the glare shield cancel switch or the MFD cancel prompt may be used to cancel the message. Cancel the uplink message with the cancel prompt. ATC data link adds the capability to communicate directly with ATC facilities. Select the ATC menu. The ATC menu is a list of messages and requests that can be exchanged with ATC. Messages are exchanged using the same data links as company messages. Unlike company messages, however, you must log on to an ATC facility before ATC messages may be exchanged. Select the Log On Status menu. Data is entered on the various ATC menus using the CDUs and CCDs the same as with company menus. When the connection with ATC is established, it is confirmed on the Log On Status menu.
Arriving ATC messages, including the logon confirmation, are also enunciated on ICAS with a high-low chime and a message. ATC messages are removed from ICAS using the glare shield cancel switch. The ICAS cancel switch only cancels ICAS messages. It has no effect on ATC messages. Let's look at a typical data link exchange between the crew and ATC. Select the Altitude Request menu item. Observe the display as an immediate climb to a higher flight level is requested due to weather. Send the request to ATC. After a few seconds, the display again returns to the communications main menu. ATC has approved your altitude request. Accept the ATC clearance. Now, enter the new altitude into the altitude window. When the MCP altitude matches the uplinked altitude, the uplinked value changes to green in the ATC uplink message block on ICAS and in the ATC uplink message on the MFD page. Crew feedback is provided for these data. There are four ATC reports that can be armed for automatic downlink to ATC. Display the report. Now, arm the report. The report is armed for automatic transmission. When the report is sent, the crew is alerted by an ATC message. Cancel the message. A flight deck printer on the aft aisle stand allows the crew to print incoming data link messages. Select Company Future Messages. The check mark means that any future uplink messages are automatically sent to the flight deck printer. Printer controls are located on top of the printer. The test switch tests the printer and prints a test pattern of all characters. The light bar illuminates while the test is in progress. A reset switch causes a power on reset of the printer. Messages in the printer's memory are unaffected, but any print job in progress is aborted. Pushing and holding the slew switch causes the printer paper to advance until the switch is released. This switch cuts the printer paper and then advances the paper to just outside the printer case. If the paper supply is low, the low paper light illuminates. Paper illuminates if the paper is jammed or the printer door is open. The fail light illuminates indicating the printer has failed. Communications crew alerting messages are classified as high, medium, and low. The high level is reserved for future use. The COM message indicates that a medium priority data link message has been received. A medium level alert is the only message type accompanied by a high-low chime. This COM message alerts the crew to a low priority message. 
Low-level messages are indented one space to differentiate from medium-level messages. If the message queue is full and another data link message is received, the COM busy message displays. If a medium or low level data link message is received and sent to the printer, the associated printer message displays for approximately 10 seconds or until the message is printed. The ATC message indicates a message has been received from ATC. The message is also displayed on ICAS and true action may be required. The SATCOM data link advisory message displays if the SATCOM data link system is inoperative. If the VHF data link system is inoperative, the VHF data link advisory message displays. The data link lost advisory message displays if no VHF or SATCOM data links are established or if all existing data links are lost. The ATC data link lost advisory message displays if an established ATC data link has been lost. The data link sys advisory message displays if the SATCOM and VHF data link systems are inoperative. All other data link system advisory messages are inhibited by this message. This completes the instruction portion of the lesson.